Yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like the video and enjoy. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the NBA three-point contest on 2K Sports alongside the Jet, Kenny Smith, and the Dr. Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. An amazing group of shooters going head-to-head. -head. One of those contests that anybody can win. It's a matter of getting hot at the right time. Expect fierce competition and maybe some bruised egos along the way. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Alpine King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. I don't know why, but somebody dropped the ball. They picked the Slash and Shot creator to be in a three-point contest. Not only am I going up against some of the best shooters in the league, I'm going up against two of my teammates, dudes that I don't even like. I'm the only on the team for the rep method. I ain't here to make friends. But guess what, man? I got a giveaway going on right now since it is Cyber Monday. I want you guys to click the Gleam link in the description or on the pinned comment. Enter the giveaway. Get a chance to win a headset so you can game with me on PS4, Xbox, PC, whatever you went to. Let's go. Okay, so first up is Steph Curry. Now, the reason why I'm going to be showing you guys everybody's jump shots, everybody's rounds, is because I want to know in the comment section if I should use a couple of these people's jump shots. Now, they are the best shooters in the game. I know it has a lot to do with what type of build they have, but sometimes the jump shot may help the user when it comes to making these shots. Now, right now, I do have a custom jump shot on that I will tell you guys about as my round goes on. I can't relay any of that information because y'all going to have to check all these greens. Now, I'm checking out Steph Curry on his third rack. He ain't looking that crazy right now. I'm waiting for him to heat up something serious. Now, he got 16 going into the fourth rack, and all I can say is his jump shot look a little fire. Now, I probably would use his upper and lower, but I really don't like his base. I might change his base if I wanted to use his jump shot. What would you guys use with Steph Curry's upper and uh, lower um, arm shot? What would y'all use? Like, what base would y'all use? Let me know inside the comment section right now before we hop into the next shooter. Now, let's go with Damian Lillard, the man I can't stand. The reason I went to the Warriors, okay, he's not really a big part of the reason why I went. I mean, honestly, he is. But I'm just trying to downplay it because me and Damian Lillard, we fought on the court one video. He wouldn't give me some of the clutch shots at the end of the game in other videos. And I just felt like Dame ain't really got it like that. Now, if you guys notice here, he is making his shots. And I could say he hitting, hitting, hitting. But, you know, it's always something with Dame, man. When they say it's Dame time, it really ain't Dame time. You want to know why? Because Dame can miss these shots, man. He can mess up big time like he doing right now on his rack. Now, just to let you guys know, Damian Lillard's jump shot has always been one of those go-to jump shots for a lot of players because it shows a lot of the snap of the wrist and it's not that much lift to the base of the jump shot. But if I would use his jump shot, I would probably change that base to something higher and faster, something like maybe uh, base, uh, base 11 would probably be good with this Damian Lillard jump shot. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about Damian Lillard's jump shot. Right so from okay, big clay. Only averaging 16 points per game, but you already know, man. Most of them is threes, man. Look, look, look at this. Let's talk about Clay Thompson for a minute. Sniper. Look at this. Oh, all right, he missed one. He scared me a little bit. Hold up, that's cash out. Now he got five off the first rack. Now the thing about Clay Thompson's jump shot is that it's too slow. I never really liked his jump shot. I never really liked the speed of it. But I can tell you right now, for a person that has a jump shot like that to be a sharp, that green window must be as big and huge as the ocean. Because remember, with some slower jump shots, your green window is larger. A lot of people that have these fast jump shots with base 11 and, you know, base 9 and 8 and all that, those jump shots aren't as good as a jump shot like this as far as the green window. And speaking of green window, did he just catch that whole rack last rack? Goodness gracious, look Clay Thompson, 25. Oh, my God. What do you guys think about this jump shot? Should I try out Clay Thompson's jump shot? Let me know in the comments. Well, okay, Harden. Now, I can tell you guys right now, James Harden's jump shot has never, I mean, never been one of my favorite jump shots. Not only is it a high arcing release, and when he releases it, he releases it at, like, the top of his head. I just don't like it. I don't like the landing. 
I don't like nothing about it. Now, I'm not sure if it's just because he's left-handed. Maybe it'll look more flicked if it was right-handed. I never create left-handed builds, so I really don't know. What do you guys think in the comment section? Does James Harden have one of those jump shots where you can say, you know what, I'll try it out. Maybe it'll work for me. Now, I know that James Harden blending worked a lot with uh, previous 2Ks, but as far as just equipping a James Harden jump shot, I've never heard anybody do that. Now, James does have 18 points. Make that 20. It looked like he getting high. No, he not. Okay, make that 22. Make that 24. Hold up. 26 on my head, God. What y'all think about James Harden jump shot? Oh, my God. We don't see too many. Now, the most awkward dude in the three-point contest, man. Kyle Lowry does not have a three-point contest jump shot. You want to know why he doesn't? Look at the base, the landing, the release. Not only is it slow, but it puts Kyle Lowry in an animation where when he lands, he has to step back a little bit. It's so weird. Now, I'm not sure if it's because of his wingspan or not, but if you check the landing, his right leg is out on his tippy toes a little bit more, and for some reason, it just doesn't blend right. Look at that step that he has to get back. He always has to do that step. It's so weird, but... Me, I wouldn't use Kyle Lowry's jump shot at all. I wouldn't use any of the blending in it at all. What do you guys think in the comment section? Is there anybody there that ever has used Kyle Lowry's jump shot? And if you have, have you had any success? Because I can tell you right now, going into the last rack with 15 points, ain't it, Chief. <laughs> ain't it at all. But I got some for y'all, man. That's right. Cue the music. We out here, man. Oh, 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 oh. Two, one. Let's go. Listen, green lights on top of green lights on top of green lights. You see that green light? Stop playing. Green. I'm going to keep telling you. Oh, oh. Look, y'all just waiting for me to yell green. I ain't going to yell green no more, man. But I'm actually going to talk to you guys about my jump shot real quick, man. So what I am using is Yad Man Gaming jump shot that he put me on to like probably about a week and a half ago it is base 49 i believe it is a little bit of steph curry and a little bit of ray allen now remember when i was talking to you guys about steph curry's jump shot and me using the upper and lower release i do have one of the releases already on this as you guys can see from the flick of the wrist now i'm going into the last rack with 16 points about 10 seconds left and i grinned a couple shots now as a slashing shot creator and playing this on hall of fame i'm not sure if hall of fame actually matters in the three-point contest but what i can tell you is man 24 points on the rack that's big time for a slashing shot creator i beat two guys out but i didn't make it to the next round god darn you james harden i wanted to go up against clay and steph man it's all good but check this out man last round you know what time it is Young stuff is in the building. I'm not rooting for stuff at all. I'm just I'm just going to talk to you guys, man. So as a reminder, for a couple things that I have going on, I am running a giveaway. If you have, have not entered the giveaway yet, use the Gleam link in the description. Use the Gleam link inside the pinned comment of this video. And also, I am hosting a tournament in New Jersey. I am going to New York on December 30th. I will be out there with other YouTubers for uh, an event and I'm going to be actually hosting a tournament featuring some of the YouTubers that I'm going to be going out there with. So if you guys have been hearing any rumblings about a, a dope New York NY whatever type trip going on in December, I'm a part of it and I'm going to be hosting a gaming tournament out there for unanimous games. So check it out, man. Make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter. Check my top pinned comment on Twitter retweet it enter do whatever you want to do if you live in the area and you can get out there come through slide through man we're gonna have a lot of fun out there we're gonna have a puma activation booth out there we're gonna have nba 2k playable nba playgrounds playable we're gonna have vr playable it's gonna be a dope event you can bring the family you can bring friends you can bring the gang whatever you want to do man you know what i'm saying it's gonna be dope i'm just letting y'all know that now now i can't remember what steph score but i'm not praying for james harden you know what I mean? Since James Harden beat me in a 1v1. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that video is on my channel, by the way. Like, me and James Harden, we, we got bad blood right now. You know what I'm saying? James ain't had to beat me one-handed. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good, man. Shoot or shoot, right? Now, uh, 
Do I have any other things that I need to let you guys know, man? Um, as of right now, you guys see that I have a new uh, little logo thing at the bottom, uh, showcasing my Facebook, my YouTube, my Twitter, and my Instagram. Um, as far as Facebook goes, um, since the beginning of the year, I have been doing a majority of my streams over there. I play with people like Agent Double Zero. Um, I play with X Chasing Money, 3MG, uh, UTX The Privacy, the whole GMG squad, gang, friends, homies. You know what I'm saying? We all be lit. We play Call of Duty. We play 2K. I play a little bit of Live. I play a little bit of Red Dead. Um, I'm thinking about getting Spider-Man as well. Um, also, I'm thinking about uh, playing a little bit more Hitman and finishing that game out. But yeah, man, um, as far as YouTube goes, you guys know what it is, man. As long as you stay subscribed, you turn on noties, and you show up to the videos and drop a comment, I'm always going to show love to you guys because, you know, without y'all, you know, I, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be able to drop commentaries. You know what I'm saying? Make videos and do stuff like that. So, you know what I'm saying? I always give big ups to everyone, man. And, you know, the road to 1 million subscribers is still, you know, a thing, and we're going to try to do what it do. But you know me, man. I don't rush things, man. I make sure that when I when I accomplish something, I make sure that I bring you guys along with me because I, I feel like y'all family. You know what I mean? Now, as far as Twitter goes, just follow your boy. You know what I'm saying? I be ranting during NBA games. You know what I'm saying? Doing giveaways. You know, talking that talk. You know what I'm saying? Trying to put people on to the knowledge that you need to have in this game. You know what I'm saying? Because being a YouTuber ain't just being a YouTuber no more, man. You know what I'm saying? Like Hov said it, man. You got to be a business, man. You feel me? I'm a business, man. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Now, Clay Thompson, I believe he did win this, yes. You know what I'm saying? Putting up 29. Damn, they're almost perfect. Now, as far as Instagram goes, before I get up out of here, if you guys do follow me on Instagram, you know, I post a lot of pictures of, like, family stuff, um, a couple of events that I go to. But, you know, um, Instagram Live and stuff like that, I'm still working my way up to it. But before I do Instagram Live and all that, I want to start vlogging more on YouTube to show you guys a little bit more of my life. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I ranted a little bit, I know. But that's why I'm here. And I love you guys. And I know y'all love me. So I'm going to see you guys in the comment section. Peace. So long, everyone. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.